Hey, hello people, my name is Rage, and welcome one and all to After Buff. Today we're going to be getting our greed on because we are so, so close. I don't know why I needed to go old man to emphasize that fact, but I did. You know, eventually we're going to get there. That was terrible. Oh, that was bad. I'm glad we got, you know, is that toxic shock? It's not toxic shock. What are we holding, though? What is this red bean? I've had the Mega Bean, which seemed excellent, but I never got to use it on enemies, but what is this Mega Red Bean? I'm assuming it's a bean. It looks beany. Either that or it's somebody's kidneys. Really, fully, ex amund spelt like cool kids, will Jake attempt zebra paddling? Because you don't want to walk up to a zebra and paddle it because it might not enjoy that experience. Is a zebra black with white stripes? Or black with white... Wait, that's the same thing twice. I was going to go with the age-old question, but then just ended up sounding like an idiot. So that's nice. We started with the lovers, which honestly ain't too shabby. Not a great initial shop. I mean, the battery might be good, depending on what this does. But i still got no idea, so let's find out. Ugh. Ah, okay. So it is a pheromone bean. That's kind of interesting. I mean, I'm not sure there's many beans that if someone walked up to me and sort of waved their giant bean in my face when I feel suddenly compelled to fight for them in glorious combat. You know, I don't think there's many times that I'm really, I'm really feeling like that. But, you know, fair enough. Fair, fair enough. Look, yeah, get fair enough. What are they doing? And here we see the zombies in their natural habitat attempting to mate. They don't realize they're different species and therefore it will not work. How adorable. Join us next time on things trying to mate that shouldn't. That <laughs> would not surprise me actually if that was already a show. Like genuinely. That really works well against flies because they just straight up mash together and kill each other. And I just love it when things mash together and kill each other for me. It's just very delectable. Okay, so Toxic Liquid- Hey, Leg Day, calm down. It's not often these days we get legged in the face, but when we do, we certainly feel it. We're just oh, all over. You just, you'll never quite be the same again after a giant spider has rubbed his muscly thigh all over your face. That was an annoying little bit of damage to take, but then again, these pieces of meat are a little bit annoying to take. So, you know, you got to really- you got to really consider that fact. That was, um, that was scary. I think now is the time to lose, use the lovers before I very embarrassingly kill myself to a single piece of meat. That would very much suck. All right, so we got the money. We got the key. We got the loveliness. That's fine. I feel like we've earned a little bit less money than we should, but things happen. I do really want to go for that golden chest and normal chest just in case, but I feel like it might turn out to be really bad. Aquarius is kind of nice. I'm very surprised, uh, at least I assume this is a thing, but I'm very surprised that there isn't a celestial transformation for getting three out of all of the, uh, all of the, you know, what you call it, all of the, let's have Bob's brain, why not, three of the star signs. There we go, I remembered what the hell it is that I'm talking about. Are you proud of me? I'm proud of me. All right, boss, boom. I assume that were, oh God, it's mega fatty. Why is it Mega Fatty? In what world is Mega Fatty a first floor boss? Like, in, in, in actually what world is this acceptable? Because this is not acceptable. Even with Bob's brain doing massive amounts of damage each time, I'm suddenly very happy that I did actually feel the need to get Bob's brain, because this is going to make a huge difference! Hey! Uh, Calm it, lad! Calm it! You don't need to do that many ops, alright? You just don't need to. Can I? I can pheromone them. Go on, kill Mega Fatty for me. Do it. Did I not take damage there? I actually didn't take damage there. That's so nice. Well, I mean, the gurglings are really easy, so I guess that kind of offsets the difficulty coming from Mega Fatty here. But at the same time, see, oh, that was, that was lame. I'm, I'm very bad with creep. You know, something I definitely will say. I am very bad with creep, you know, that is for sure. I'm I'm not good when it comes to creeps. I well, actually I guess not many people are good when it comes to creeps. It's kinda like the point of them. No, I got pooped on! That's again not a good sentence to be yelling out loud in any kind of situation. Alright, more money, that's fine, but nothing really worth doing. So I guess we're just gonna move on, handle our devil deal, see who it is. Is that another mega fatty? Please. Please, world, have some justice, have some sheer kindness, have some 
just God to honest, base, decent humanity, why would you give me two mega fatties? That's just awful. That's just absolutely awful. I mean, I guess this one's easier because we don't have to deal with the gurglings as well, but two mega fatties? It's just, just diabolical. Is my toxic liquid even even doing anything because I really feel like it's not damaging him. Oh no, it seems to be a little bit. I mean, we've got the poison. Bob's brain has definitely earned itself a big fixture on this run here. Hopefully we get some cool bomb synergies. I love it when we have a lot of bomb synergies with Bob's brain. It makes it such a fantastically fun little item. Well, I mean, we're going to get through this but it's I'm going to be grumpy about it. You know, I'm going to going to be completely fine, but I'm going to get grumpy. Again, we're going a little bit old person here. Hello! Well... I mean, if one of them is Jera, then, you know, jobs are good, and jobs are very big good, and Hansa's not great, Dagaz, again, not great, honestly. I mean, we'll use Vision just to see if we can find a secret room that we can't go in, because that's how we do. Yep, there it is. But alas, alack, not a fantastic first floor on a... Greed mode here, we're definitely looking for some more, you know, you know, good old bit of, I don't know why I'm doing like a really weird heartbeat, but that's fine, it'd be great if you had a musical heartbeat, you know, it really would, blood clot, fantastic, great item to find from the boss drop, is my, yeah, I just realised my damage is absolutely bare bones minimum, the raw liver is probably a pretty good choice here, especially when it's cheap, you know, cheap liver tends to be pretty good liver. Okay, we'll explode you, that's fine. I think we'll go in the curse room before doing that. I mean, it's whether I want to, of course, go and get the item room before the liver, or if I want to get the liver and then get the item room later on. We'll see what the curse room does for us. Takes us to the angel room, which gives us R for R. Wonderful. But at least now we don't need to... At least now we don't need to go and do the Devil Deal fight on this floor. So it's one of the few times in Greed Mode where we're going to be skipping the Devil Deal fight. I, I'd rather... You know, it's more sensible, probably, to get the uh, raw liver now. But I... Ooh, 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 that's not bad at all. Intensifying tears is obviously very, very good. We get up to some serious tears. But obviously we need to keep firing in the same direction. So it's going to be a slight issue. But we'll see what happens. We'll get really, really high tiered in the upwards direction. And then we'll see if we can't fight everything to death. As opposed to, you know, talk calmly and cuddle to death or something. Although being cuddled to death would be, you know, it'd be really upsetting to die that way. But at the same time, you know, it, there's much worse ways to go than being worms on my face. There's much worse ways to go than having worms on your face, if I, if I had to say something. So that's fine. He should go on. He didn't go on my trail of tears. Did he dodge them deliberately or am I going crazy? Hopefully will not have another completely fail of a run with intensifying tears where I completely forget my health and uh, end up accidentally just killing myself for really no good reason. Thank you very much, though. I am, of course, going to have to change directions now, which does kind of suck. Is Bob's brain coming back? Wow, it didn't hit anything. Is there anything up here? Hello? Oh, just a spider. That's absolutely fine. And we've actually got quite intensifying tears going on. But yeah, we're kind of destroying. I mean, if we just got... That was amazing. If we just got a little bit of damage, this is actually going to end up being quite effective in a lot of ways here. So, I am... Uh, very excited about this whole thing. I'm going to pheromone one of them just so the bony that comes out. Yep, there we go. I'm glad that... No! Bob's brain! Bob's brain! I should have guessed. I should have known. I should have planned for that eventuality. Why didn't I? Why? But I can't be too upset because obviously we did end up with uh, a much faster mega fight kill thanks to that. Okay, so we want to get ourselves the raw liver. That's nice. That's pretty good. That tear up's great, but we've already got such tiny damage that I feel like it's going to be a mistake to do that. Like, genuinely, I feel like we might end up regretting that. So let's do the boss and, uh, okay, yeah, an absolutely fine boss to handle here. We're going to have to dodge one more tears and then, no, another one. Damn, that sucks. Although we didn't actually lose any money, so that's completely fine. And uh, he, I don't want to waste Bob's brain on him, so I want to kind of, no, damn you. I shouldn't have said anything, you know. I just shouldn't have said anything. Should have accepted it. Should have been great. 
Oh, I want, I, you know, I'll be honest, there was a part of me, I wanted to see if he'd try and attack his little ghosty friend. That was very much the objective here, but this is obviously a very easy boss. So now that we've seen the angel room, of course, as I said, there's no real reason for us to waste our time killing it, because I believe it's just going to give us that same angel room with effectively nothing in it. So that's good, I mean, it saves us taking a little bit of potential. I thought you were dead, you damn lemon! Not often do you get to scream at a lemon for not being dead, but I do relish the opportunities I do get that. Alright, come on, lovely. Tears and shot speed, absolutely fine. We can intensify a lot quicker, and that is good. Though we are still fairly weak for the floor we're on. You know, we are still definitely missing a few tricks here. Two troll bombs, not great. Could really, really have done with something better there, but we got to work with what we've got. We've got to work with what we've got, and I think we probably do want uh, the blue cap, the shot speed down, counters the shot speed up from the toothpicks. That's kind of nice, because you don't always want a ridiculous amount of shot speed. The doctor's remote as a reusable airstrike, probably better than the bean, simply because we can use it to nuke bosses, and obviously it gives us a bomb, which is nice to blow up things to get bonuses, like, for example, this guy, and yep, there we go, that's kind of nice. I mean, we can only really use it, no, we can use it twice, so that's good, that's actually solved most of our key needs, and then I also kind of want to bomb that and just see what comes out of it and look that's lovely we'll save that till we go to the next floor of course but generally speaking this is okay still not great obviously still not great but definitely better than it was and uh, that's just fantastic okay so we got the tears we just need to get a little bit of damage and then we're kind of rocking this we really are because obviously greed doesn't really care if our damage is ridiculous it just cares if we have enough to do max damage including his armor so that's absolutely fine and because of the blood clot, we are definitely doing more than we otherwise would. I'm surprised I didn't get two kills there. Like, genuinely. Oh, a free rune. Please be good. Ah, passage really doesn't do much. The fool, we might get some use out of, so I'll definitely keep that over passage, because passage is just plainly awful. I mean, is there actually any tangible use for passive on for passive? Yes, is there any tangible usage for passives on this? Because I really don't think there is. I mean, when would you want to skip anything in greed mode? Like, you need extra, every single little bit of extra positives that you can get on a greed mode. Couldn't actually think of a word there. My command of the English language failing me thoroughly as I forget thoughts feverishly fast kind of worked out right. I'm taking a lot of unnecessary damage here. This is this was about to be one of those moments where I'm like, oh, I'm dead. I thought I was on max health. Well, aren't I stupid? So I'm glad I caught this on the amount of health that I'm currently on. Intensify tier is doing good. Yeah, it turns out actually having high tiers is just great because it means that you intensify obviously a lot faster, which uh, really helps out in a lot of cases. That's good. In fact, this is the final wave, so we don't need to worry too much. And there we go. Job is a good un. Okie dokie, so, do I want to buy the box of stuff for pay to play? Not really, so what I am going to do is simply use our remote to re-roll. Uh, yeah, honestly, I think that's okay. You know, the speed down does kind of suck, and we're going to have to sort that out, but being stompy is just so fantastically useful in greed mode that I can't really say no to it. So we can get these extra skulls, see what they drop for us. Well, the extra singular skull, but that's fine. Still completely okay. Oh, yeah, these two as well. Damn, that's a host, and that's a nothing. Well, that kind of sucks, and we are very slow. Maybe that was the wrong thing to do, but I also don't think it really was. Is that it? Did the other one just die? Is it really just... Oh, I honestly am surprised by the ease of this boss, really. Ah, but then we get an angel, which does kind of suck. Let's bomb the angel. That did not do as much damage as I expected. Does it do as much damage as a normal epic fetus shot? Because if so, that's definitely an issue. So wings in is diagonal, wings not in is a cross, okay? So that's fine. Also, wings in is a tier. Did he? Oh, he can summon stuff. I did not actually realize the angel could summon stuff. Can I please get away from him? That would be great. That's fine. Did he just kill his own angel baby? I feel like he did, which is, you know, this is very mean, all things together. I am actually really, really terrified of dying here. Like, there's a big part of me that's just absolutely 
terrified of Oh, he's dead. Yay! <laughs> I do love accidentally killing my enemies. God, I really do. All right, this slowdown is actually proving very, very difficult to deal with. I'm going to have to spend a little bit of money on health here just because it's kind of getting absurd. Maybe the PhD. Nah, see, I still don't really want to. I'm going to get one more. I hate having to buy health, but I'm just, I'm simply just having a really bad, oh God. Oh my word. Actually, Bob's brain is seriously proving to be absolutely unbelievably useful in this fight. I'm hoping that, uh, the uh, little rafts there, if I keep them alive, will actually help me with the main infamy. So I don't want to kill them too soon, because they are obviously very helpful. Like, they're very easy to avoid, so we'll go down to one. I mean, I didn't really want to kill him, but I didn't really have much of a choice. We can slowly Bob's brain the mask, which is fantastic. If he gives me a bomb, very nearly hit it for me, so that's great. Just gotta keep on going. No, don't kill yourself! It's fine! Haha! -ha! But No, Bob! Come on, Bob! Come on, Bob! Oh, that was so close! That was so close. Come on, Bob! Please! Yay! We did it. Ooh, Angel. Well, not great. I mean, normally I'd be like, Yeah! Mind! Baller! Owned it! But as it currently stands, not a fantastic item in green mode. That kind of sucks. We're struggling. We're definitely struggling. And it's so, like, we're so tantalizingly close to getting to those 999 coins that it's just, ah, oh, you know? All you can do is, ah. Oh. I mean, we still have a lot of flaws left. There's still plenty of chance for us to get very powerful. So, I don't need to worry that much. The range up, surprisingly, is very useful here because we did have a laughably slow range. Popola double X, everybody! Papala Dopalex. I like to see that. We'll get the secret room, because why the hell not? We may as well. They're kind of good in greed mode. Smash our way through all of these. We're going to smash our way through the ones in the other room, because that might just result in us damaging ourselves, so that kind of sucks. Please, uh, have the goods. That's just in no way good. I mean, honestly... Yay! It looks like we just got a massive damage up, but in reality, we are still on actual base damage here. Ooh, that's probably what... Well, the, the D10 doesn't really matter. I mean, re-rolling enemies ain't gonna do a lot for us. God, it looks like we have so much more damage than we do here. That's kind of annoying, really. Okay, so we do want a bomb to blow up that, but we can obviously just use our doctor's remote. So, yeah, I'll get that because of the speed. It really does sort our speed out, so that's fine. But really, not a lot of goodness happening on this floor. We're kind of struggling. We're very, very struggling. God, look at the amount of hits that took compared to the size of our tears. That is just awful. Just absolutely awful in every single respect. There is so much wrong with this greed mode run. Oh, man. <laughs> It's just embarrassing. It's like it's like he's tried to make up for having terrible tears by artificially inflating the size of his tears. I mean, like, yeah, look how strong my tears are. When in reality, they're just absolutely pathetic. God, I thought I dodged that. I really thought I dodged that. This is, well, this is going very, very wrong. I'm going to do that and cancel the waves because I don't really have a choice. This is a difficult greed run. You know, you can't really blame me here. This is a difficult greed run. We're on the frickin' room with base damage. Like, what do you want from me? Okay, so, I mean, we can go open the chest in the secret room. We'll see if that holds some sort of salvation. I mean, we need Cricket's head, really. That's all we can hope for from this one. And, uh, well, we get a bomb and free money. That's still potential. We can have a re-roll and hope that something good comes of this. I mean, I'll be happy just to get to the greed fight on this one. I really, really will. I don't have enough explosives to blow up the uh, little shopkeeper. Oh, that's worth it. Honestly, we get the black heart, and we do get a nice amount of bombs, so that makes me happy. We'll blow up these two, see what we end up with. Oh, oh, that gives us potential. That gives us a lot of potential. We just have to not die. You know, we just have to really not die. So now this is worth it, because we'll make too money on getting this, but we definitely don't want to be re-rolling no enemies. That just makes absolutely no sense. So I guess... Okay, all right, we can bring this back. We can bring this back. We've still got bombs. We don't want to buy any of these. So for now, we'll uh, re-roll and re-roll and re-roll and hope that we can get something good. As much as I love Spider-Mod, it's just something we can't afford to waste money on right now. Binky's kind of good. 
We'll get Binky. I mean, the tears is nice. And, of course, we get the spirit heart, so that's fine. We'll re-roll once more. Come on. Come on. Ah, it's just... Mm, you know... You know, it's not... Well, Revenge Fly's not horrible. We're going to be taking damage, and obviously two shots not horrible as well. So, there's still definitely potential here, and then we'll just get one more health, just because I'm feeling scared. You know, I'm just feeling very, very scared. But it's obviously great to have ourselves some uh, Revenge Fly, because he's going to really mess up a lot of these enemies for us, which is exactly what we want. I don't think he counts as an orbital, so he's not going to be fantastically useful in that respect, but he's still going to give us uh, a nice little bit of utility there. He is active now, which is, of course, great. He's just going to burn around the room and get rid of all of them. Don't fire your creep! Don't fire your creep! All right, we're good. We're absolutely good. We're euphoria the hell up, which is nice. Our tears are going fantastically fast. That's, that's a satisfying thing to say. Fantastically fast tears. See if we can get... Don't, Bob's brain. I had a moment of... Wait, if I keep firing, I'm going to blow myself up. Guaranteed! That was a difficult bit of uh, enemy configuration to take out there. I'll definitely say that much. Get rid of those brains. That's fine. Another load of hearts. I want to, of course, save my doctor's remote charges just for the sake of uh, re-rolling. They would actually have enough money, so that kind of sucks. But, I mean, do I want two shot? How badly do I care about two shot? I don't think that badly because I just, I need something better than that. The uh, freaking uh, the leash would be great if I had a load of followers if I was playing Lilith, but as it stands, Squeezy is definitely the best option here. Oh, we can also fully heal for seven. That's not bad. That's really not bad. Let's let's see if we can make that happen. That would be absolutely excellent. So I should be able to just basically spam my tears away in this direction and. Uh, kind of sort everything out. Though I should actually, in theory, damn, that sucks to get hit there, but at least it activates Revenge Fly, so we got that going for us. And then we can just Euphoria the hell up, and everything should die pretty quickly, honestly. If, especially if we keep this way for the second boss. I gotta, gotta really tacticalize this run, because we are, oh, Loki, that was very sudden Loki in my face. The one thing you don't want is a sudden Loki in your face. We got three of them! We got three of them! Calm down! Alright, calm down. And I mean, you, I mean, you might like Loki game. You might freaking love Loki, but you gotta accept there's a, there's a point where we need to just chill the hell out. So yeah, we are basically... I mean, if we do complete this run, we are almost certainly not gonna have a great amount of money to spend on the greed mode itself, just because we're gonna have to buy a lot of items to make up for this deficit. But, you know, we'll try our best. We will buy that. I mean, there's a few, t there's few times in my Isaac career where I will willingly buy that item, but I think this definitely qualifies as one. And the best use for this is honestly just to blow this up. And uh, interesting. I'll pot shot that chest. I really will. We'll just see what happens. And oh, come on! That is such a tease. That is such a big tease. That is so upsetting. All right, let's get Euphoria stacking up because we're still technically on base damage here. You know, I want you all to definitely realize that. We are still rocking base damage against double bloat. So that's, um, that's fantastic. That is, uh... That's definitely an issue. That is gonna that is gonna come in to be a distinct problem all up in here. Four eyes going around the room as well as freaking Brimstone McGee's over here. Look at them go. I'm just gonna have to tank the hell up. It's a good job I did decide to buy the freaking uh, health there. Otherwise, I very, very much would be dead. But as it is, that was kind of okay. Please, devil deal! Ah, uh, well... That's actually kind of nice. The money's good. We're going to need every single cent we can scrap together here. And you know what, you damn golden troll? Give us the glory. Well, technically is useful. I'll give it that. I will, you know, I'll accept that technically speaking, that was useful to get. And then we'll uh, stomp all of these rocks just in case of a trapdoor or any kind of useful thing. And I think we're good. We are really having to scrape the bottom of the barrel in this run, though. We are having to just seriously... Hey! Damage! Guys, look! We get to go from one base damage and then double our damage 
to do. At least I believe it is a double. Oh no, we've got slightly increased, which is worth it, honestly. Euphoria's gonna sort out the tier deficit, but there we go, guys. We actually were allowed some damage. And some more range. Look at that. Isn't that just lovely? Oh, God. The world too kind. World too absolutely kind. No, but really, it's going to need a lot more than that before we before we can successfully handle this. Like, we're going to need certainly something better than that. All right. Let's use our space bar. Sort out that secret room. Hey, this might be good. Wheel of Fortune and the Lovers. Will we use the Lovers? Grab that. Keep the Wheel of Fortune for when we come to blow up the reroll machine, assuming we have one. And what are you? Retrovision. Doesn't really matter too much. Health up. Can only be useful. That's fine. Battery's kind of nice, but it would just give us double the uh, use of the missile. So it's not fantastically great. We'll break the pots. Gulped Penny definitely might come in handy here. That I will accept. We might get a fair amount of coinage off that and the rest of it honestly not a great amount what i will do is use that and then attempt to blow up all three of these things just to see well it's okay we got free money out of it i mean definitely it could be worse there i'm tempted to get the speed you know it might do because it will bring me closer to the drugs transformation which does come with a half damage up which is kind of nice but at the same time uh, did all of them just instantly die like, genuinely, did all of those just instantly die? Also, did Gulped Penny just give me a freaking five? Because if so, that is bloody wonderful. Thank you very much. Oh, look at all these hauntlings. Just look at them go. Please, you need to die in for me. You need to die so hard. There we go. Wrath's not a problem. And actually, the Gulped Penny is doing seriously wonders for us. Because we just have we just have so much health that it really doesn't matter throwing some away to grab some money. Obviously, I didn't intend to get hit by all of that. But when in Rome, when in Rome, and then he should be dead. Oh, God. Brim Ghosts. Brim Ghosts are definitely going to be an issue. Bob's brain annihilating that one. What a guy. He has definitely served us well on this run. This is 100. 100% the hour of Bob's brain, because this has just been fantastic for him. Okay, alright, this is good. This is good. We'll just get rid of you. I'll take that damage. That's fine. I don't want to give up my euphoria charging forward. And then boom, and boom. No, oh, you need to go boom. Alright, much like Dexter's Laboratory, we need to blow the hell up. So, this is a good amount of money. I mean, if we could do greed at our current power level, which potentially we could, we might actually have a fair amount to place in here. Because there's not much I want to buy from this floor. We could do with a little bit more speed, but it's not really necessary, so... For now, I'm just going to accept this and uh, do a little bit of uh, gate killing. In fact, what am I? Oh, I accidentally cancelled the thing. Though, actually, ow! That might turn out to be very, very excellent. I mean, he's about to die, so we're down to just one gate, which is obviously fantastic. There we go. That is great. You could say it's gate. <laughs> no, but for real, can you please hurry up and brimstone away all of your friends like they're providing a serious issue for me presently. And we're good. We're good. We're good. We're down to three hearts. Who's the second boss? Who, who is it? Oh, it's actually... That's completely and utterly fine. That is just wonderful. I could not ask for a better boss there. So in terms of Devil Deal, how confident are we thinking? I'm, I'm feeling fairly confident. Okay, so Double Monstros 2. I mean, we can definitely take Double Monstros 2. Like, that is absolutely faux shizzle. But I am going to have to change shooting direction here. I need to learn as Transcendence as just... It's nice when we can do it, but when we can't, we don't need to, you know, kill ourselves repeatedly for the privilege, you know. We don't need to go crazy on trying to make it happen, and I'm so happy I picked up Revenge Fly. He has done so, so much damage for us, and I wish they could brimstone each other. It's one of the things I really hate about facing Double Monstro 2, is you can't get them to just bim brimstone. You can't get them to just bimstone each other, and, you know, that just sucks. Don't you just hate it when things won't bimstone? I'm actually really concerned about dying here. And there's no point in using Doctor's Remote. It's not going to do enough damage that it will, in fact, save us in any way. I mean, Revenge Fly is doing his freaking best. Like, I gotta give him mad props. He is really trying hard. But at the same time, it's not a lot. Oh, is one of them dead? No, one of them's not dead. Ow, another Brimstone. That sucks. 
another one's there. I just need to run in circles, basically, until Revenge Fly solos it, because I think he is going to do. God, I love you, Revenge Fly. You are just truly one of my favorite items in the game. You just do so much work. It's just unreal how excellent you are. And wait, there we go. I did it. <laughs> I did it! I actually did it! Oh my god! Contract from below. Uh, well, as we learn, doesn't really do anything for us. I'm also terrified of it taking my only actual heart. I know that's not how it works, but I'm just, I'm terrified, okay? I'm just scared. I'm really, really scared. So yeah, there's nothing we want from this floor. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but we just need to hope beyond hope that the next shop has some serious goods in. Like, we're talking massive goods, because, oh, do we need it. We need it so badly. Okay, here we go. Come on, please. Please, just, please, just give us... Give us the glory. That's all I want. I just want some glory. Yay! We can skip to greed. Woohoo! Well, honestly, a one-up might be kind of nice, given that we have uh, ourselves... Oh, I really thought we could get something a lot better there, but no, we'll go back to that. Don't have any re-rolls. A one-up might be okay, because we're obviously going to come back with full health, so... I'm going to take that extra life. I mean, that health up might be good. There's not a lot that I want going on here. Oh, no. I need some bombs, but there's no bombs. Oh, it's just so super sad. I'm going to take this. Oh, the Empress. Oh, come on. Two of clubs. That is actually very good. That gave us two bombs for free. That's fantastic. All right. Please, rerolls. Give us something. That does nothing for us. Please give us something. Well, we'll take that. The speed and the damage is nice, and now that would have given us the transformation if I'd done it. But obviously, I had no real way to know. But as it stands, really not too hot here, is it? It's not too good. I mean, we're just going to have to go for it at this point, you know. When in Rome, we'll see what happens. Oh, God. Envy. Just no. Please. Actually, with our amount of tears, we might get through him fairly quickly. So we got that going for us. And then, of course, we got Spooky Ghosts to deal with as well. I do love having to deal with repeated Spooky Ghosts. They are just the best. We do have some extra Keepers to try and kill. I mean, a part of me does want to deliberately die just to heal for seven effectively. But I also feel like that might be a waste. Like, there's no need for me to deliberately do it. Because I feel like it's just going to happen, you know. I feel like I am going to accidentally die at some point. Like, nearly there. Like, very nearly there. Did you see that? That was very close to my prompt exit of uh, this floor. This wave seems to be completely okay. Depends entirely what's going to happen next time. I do want them to explode all these keepers for me. So, I mean, if they could do that, that would just be fantastic. Didn't expect uh, sudden uh, freaking homing shots. Can you stop, please? <laughs> oh, God, these guys. Well, the most time. Oh, they got me. That sucks. But oh well, we got through quite a few waves. And why does that say 0 out of 10? Why the hell does that say 0 out of 10? Like, for real? Does that mean I didn't kill anything from technically the first wave? They were all just kind of mashed together? Because that upsets me in a big way. I mean, the one advantage is we now can reroll this again, which is great. Mum's Pearl. I mean, it does give us the Mum transformation. So that's nice. And we could get some even more tears. Why not? Let's just get some more tears. And then some more dog food. So that's great. Well, we tried our best. You know, we tried our best. So I guess we just got to... Yeah, we actually have to start from wave one. That seems absurd. Why do we have to do that? Normally when you have to cop out halfway through, you get to go back to the wave you were on. Is it because I died that that happened? Like, are you not allowed to die your way out of a wave? Because that's really upsetting. Like, genuinely, I thought I'd only have to do a few extra lives. Extra lives, extra waves. That's why I was just, you know, pretty happy about dying. Because it effectively just healed me for a load of health. Which is obviously what I really need to take down greed here. But that's really upsetting. Oh, God, stop. Just please stop. Just don't do it. Just please leave me alone. An extra five's kind of nice. We'll get rid of him. We also got rid of uh, the wrath in the process, which is good. I mean, we're technically going to have a fairly nice amount of money. Yeah, we're not even getting a second round of money for these waves. I feel really just betrayed, honestly. Like, 
very, very betrayed. Like, a lot of betrayal has happened here, and uh, I'm just not sure how best to deal with it. Let's not step on that creep when we don't have to. That would be great. More of them are coming down. That's just fine. We can deal with that as and when they arrive. Here we go. Here we go. Get through the other one. Just some spidras. Spidras ain't a problem. We're actually ahead on the waves. Job's a good one. Job is a good one. Though we did take a lot of damage. You know, we can't deny that fact. We did take a lot of damage. I, of course, want to save Empress for the greed fight. So I've not been using it. So I actually would rather do that and re-roll it than I would spending my money on one of those items. Tech 2 might be okay. I mean, we're already doing such little damage that it's just not a big deal to get that, but I'd rather do that, because we get the tarot card, which comes with it, which the tower... I'm going to use the tower in here. I'm going to take the screw first, just for more tears. That's great. And then we'll tower in here and seeing where it ends up at. Hopefully it does re-roll. It did re-roll. How perfect is that? It killed everything nicely. Ah, uh, I hoped it would give us more health, but alas, alack, it doesn't. But we do have the ability to go full health and fill with spirit hearts, thanks to uh, the PJs there. So that's actually worked out kind of nicely. Do I want to do the bosses before doing that? I feel like I don't, just in case. And I think we're good. I think from this point, we'll just accept that if we kill greed, we kill greed. If not, we tried our best. Jobs are good. And, you know, we can't really... We just can't really afford to spend any more money. Because, you know, it defeats the whole purpose. We might complete the run, but completing the run is pointless if we don't have enough money to put in the greed machine. I mean, as upset as I am here that I am having to deal with extra Monstro 2s, you know, that's, that's very, very fundamentally upsetting to me. It's also kind of fine. We've not even activated Revenge Fly here, so that's kind of nice come on keep on going keep on trucking you gotta keep on believing uh, all right we've accepted revenge fly did he do a whole extra bit of damage to me oh good polly but polly but polly but polly is here as well oh polly but polly i love polly but polly did he just get lasered by monstro is that what happened there because if that's true that's very effective. Oh, damn, he died anyway. That kind of sucks. We are definitely going to have to struggle here when it comes to killing both stains. But I think we'll also be okay. We have lost the three spirit hearts, but that's all right. You know, we don't take damage that often on greed. It's really just useful for this floor. And then Bob's brain should finish us up along with the fly. And yes, okay, good. Now, we just have to successfully handle a little bit of devil deal and then we're fine we're absolutely fine we'll get rid of them with the knife that worked out lovely get rid of these bob's brain's not here so we're not going to be blown up in the face which is always you know a great place to avoid being blown up get through the tentacles i mean you know you don't find me often saying that because i do like to keep my tentacles around for as long as possible but sometimes you just got to accept the tentacles aren't on the cards today you know that we've just we've not got many tentacles to deal with that's a lot of tearage that I am having to draw dodge here. Like, I feel like the fact I only got hit once there is actually kind of a miracle. I guess I technically got hit twice, but whatever, you know, I can deal. Please pop back up and do us. Oh, it didn't do. I'm just going to kill it. I'm just going to tank and kill it because I don't really have a choice in that situation. Please, devil deal. Have glorious, glorious things in. Please have glorious things. Well... Honestly, you know, not horrible. Not the worst in the world ever. Let's blow this up, see what happens here. Ah, oh, farts, fine. I mean, we're not going to have full elf going down anyway, so we may as well have that. See what it drops. A coin, that's fine. Then we're going to take the Book of Belial, just because that's probably the best space bar item we can take with us. We got 68, which is nice. Do I want the nail? The nail, the paperclip, that's the question. The safety pin. I don't even care. I don't know where I am anymore. Shut up. I feel like maybe we do. It's just so oh, I'm gonna do it. You know, I'm gonna do it. I need I and then we get the range and we get the spun. That was actually really good. What is it with me and getting very lucky final win purchases? That has just solved us a lot of pain. Actually, we should be okay now. Let's go for here. See what's going on. Tinted rock is nice to see there, and two extra monies. Obviously, great. The gulped penny is gonna mean that nice. The gulped penny is obviously gonna mean that we kind of stay on on top of things when it comes to well do I, yeah let's go in see what happens hey we do have a key we can use this on so this might turn out to be great well it's a bit of extra money and it's a bomb so 
you know, could have been worse. We lose the Black Heart, but really, that's not a big deal. Let's blow you up. One final reroll. See what happens. Hey, there we go. That worked out nicely. I kind of do want to fill up on... I mean, it's only four for the sake of having full health on the fight. I think 60 is honestly ample for how much of a painful greed run this was, especially at the start, but, I, you know, we've fought through pretty hard, and we've got here, and, you know, I can be proud of that. I can be. All right, and we do get to kill some Greeks, which is obviously just going to be some extra money packets for us, which is great. They're going to die very, very easily to these tiers. Oh, we technically have two steam sails. Oh, that would have been glorious. So we got the Empress, and we got that. So we basically got Whore of Babylon and uh, Judah and Book of uh, Belial, which is great. So we should, in theory, as long as we keep Transcendent Tears up, actually kill him fairly effectively fast all things considered. We might actually really get this going. Like, our tiers have got some size to them. Granted, they've only really got some size to them because of the item we picked up, Puppa Double X, which somehow failed to Puppa Double X everything, which I am, you know, obviously very upset about. But we are getting big splodges of uh, Toxic Liquid, which is obviously doing really nicely for us. That kind of sucks to get hit there. I mean, it's kind of weird, because every time we get hit, we're both generating money, but also losing money, which is what I like about the Gulp Petty. It kind of just negates Greed's, uh, I'ma take money off you. I'ma rob you blind, because I'm a greedy bastard with a fantastic rear end. Okay. All right. So keep on going. Keep on going. We're actually doing, honestly, a sizable amount of damage. And I never realized that the Mysterious Liquid Splash is actually relative to the size of your tears. It's kind of a nice little extra mechanic of uh, that item. Calm down. Calm down. Just, yeah, just keep doing your things. Keep spinning around. Move out of your way. And everything's going to be completely and honestly just 100% Fine, I am going to have to move down here a little bit, take these guys out, because they were getting a little bit too numerous for my liking. These are going to explode, but it's nowhere near me, so I don't need to worry too much. Transcendence tiers, honestly, doing really well. Now that I'm not trying my best to keep it going on and just accepting whatever happened happens, that's fantastic. And also, we have the power of uh, Revenge Fly, who is just permanently applying a very good amount of uh, damage to Greed for us. So I'm very happy about this. This honestly has ended up, much like the Maggie run, it's ended up so much better than anyone would have predicted from the start. Though I am still very concerned here because we are obviously... Don't steal my five! I want my five! Oh, I don't want to take damage to get my five, but I really want my five. Oh, he robbed my five. You son of a bitch, Greed. You son of a bitch. I obviously very much do not want to end up uh, dying at this point, so I am a little bit scared because I can only take two more hits from Greed himself and one hit from a non-Greed entity, so I am a little bit worried about all of this. Just don't... Oh, God. Oh, God. See, that's the Thing. It's the sudden massive spread of uh, coins that is uh, very, very demanding. And obviously, if one of these coins that spin land on me, they do a ridiculous amount of damage. Like, absolutely absurd. Please let me kill him. Like, just please, just let me kill him. That's all I want here. It would just be a fantastic thing to happen. That was very, very close, Bob's brain. Please do the things. I can't be this far away from him. I need to be able to see him. Otherwise, I'm going to get randomly hit by things like that. And yes, revenge fly, you saucy legend, you. Oh, I cannot believe that greed mode. That was very, very intense. And it does look like we are one good greed mode away from getting to 999. So that is very exciting. Oh, my heart, though. <laughs> what a freaking fight. What a ridiculous, ridiculous ridiculous fight. I wish I had like a bomb to just blow myself up to earn a little bit more money, but I think we're okay here. We're going to end up on 940, so yeah. As long as we do a character that doesn't have too high a percentage on chance to break, we're not far off. 943, everyone. 943. My name has been Rage. Remember to like if you've enjoyed this struggle of a run and subscribe for more. Oh, good boy. <laughs>